Hello, my fellow blessed one. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I hope this vlog reaches you in good health. If not, we trust in the Lord to heal you. Amen. Hey guys, welcome back to Jim's Cuisine. Today I'm going to show you how I make my famous meatball casserole dish. Um, this is a favourite in my household. It's the number one staple, great for the mums. You know, you want a quick, easy meal, but something that doesn't take too much of your time this is it firstly we're going to start off by preparing our ingredients we've got our mincemeat some washed carrots which I've cut up into small circular sizes and then also some medium-sized potatoes which I've cut up into small pieces and then I've also prepared some spring finely chopped spring onions mixed peppers, your green, your yellow, your red, and also some diced up red onions. So firstly, we're gonna start off by seasoning our mincemeat. As, we, as you know, we've got our mixed herb, we've got the special Chim's Cuisine green seasoning in there, garlic powder, um, and some thyme. The marinade is now mixed into the meat, time to start making our medium sized meatballs. I've added a bit of oil to my heated pan and once the meatballs are ready, it's time to start frying them. I usually fry the meatballs for about five minutes on each side, constantly turning them over until completely brown. Now that all the meatballs are fried, it's time to create our casserole dish. First we're going to start off with some finely chopped up red onions and saute that in the pan for about 3 minutes. I'm going to go in and add two blocks of garlic. I usually use the frozen garlic, you can get this from any local supermarket. Once the garlic has completely melted into the salted red onions, I'm now going to add my finely chopped mixed peppers. I'll leave this to saute for about three minutes. Then I'll begin to add the black pepper and Himalayan salt to the dish.
Then I will add in my finely chopped spring onions. Next I add in my carrots. I stir that for about three minutes before adding in my potatoes that I chopped up earlier. We will then add our chopped up potatoes to the dish. Next I'm adding a can of chopped tomato. I'll leave this to simmer for about 10 minutes, um, allowing the potatoes to thoroughly cook, the carrots to thoroughly cook, and as I'm going along I'm also seasoning the casserole dish. For flavour, although we have seasoned our meatballs, just for flavour for the sauce I'm adding a bit of um, Maggi seasoning and um, soy sauce to the stew, well the casserole. <laughs> Then I go in and add about a tablespoon of tomato puree just to give the sauce that nice rich red colour. Next you're going to add a half a cup of double cream. This will just add to the sauce, um, the casserole dish, giving it that nice creamy texture. If you see that the dish is becoming a bit too thick, just add um, a bit of water and your dish should look like this. And then once you've left the casserole dish to simmer for about five minutes, start adding in your meatballs to the dish. There you have it, Chim's Cuisine's Meatball Casserole Dish. Number one staple, I'm telling you, the family will love it. You can have it on its own or you can serve it with a side of rice on the side. Um, but ideally, you can have it with anything. Really, really delicious meal. Um, it's 10 out of 10, you'll love it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe and like and share and leave your post notifications on for the next video. Thank you, 